nutrition, um, your fried foods, there, uh, all these fast food companies are frying in this type of fat. Um, snack foods, a lot of your uh, uh, cookies, cakes, pies, pastries, things like that. So where do you find it on the nutrition facts panel? Well, the FDA has ruled that, that manufacturers have to display this on the nutrition facts panels. And as you can see, they have an area there for trans fat. So the things you want to look for is the amount of saturated fat and trans fats. So and keep your saturated fat under 10% of your daily intake. And you can see they also display your uh, daily value in a percentage range. So we should choose more heart healthy fats. Uh, look for monosaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, that's your olive oils, canola oils, safflower oils. Um, nuts are a good source, as we mentioned before. But the two things I want to point on are the omega-3 fatty acids and the plant sterols and the stanols. Uh, your omega-3 fatty acids actually have anti-inflammatory properties, which are very good for heart health. And you didn't really touch much on the C-reactive protein, but uh, there's a new uh, marker out there for heart disease as well, and that's C-reactive protein. And the omega-3 fatty acids and the plant sterols are good for lowering that level. Um, Benicol and Take Control or some other products that are out there. And what they've actually done is they've taken these plant sterols and stanols come from vegetable oils and they're very good for heart health. But you can't get an abundant amount just in a normal diet. So manufacturers have added these to these products and increased the amount to make it more heart healthy. And what they do is they lower your LDL absorption in the gut, which is your bad cholesterol. So both of these are um, good sources of food for heart health. And the omega-3s, you can get flax seeds. You could just sprinkle flax seeds on your salads are great. Your salmons, albacore tuna, mackerel, sardines, her uh, herring, everything that's up there. So limit your total fat intake to 25 to 35% of your daily values and limit your oils as well. So here's something we could all do is eat a little more fiber. <laughs> in general, most people think of fiber as aiding in constipation. Well, it's actually, fiber comes in two sources. We have insoluble and soluble. The soluble fiber is really what's heart healthy because it binds excess cholesterol out of the body and it also slows carbohydrate absorption into the bloodstream, which could help with uh, diabetes and uh, triglycerides as well. So we should aim to eat 20 to 35 grams of fiber a day and with five to nine of that coming from soluble fiber. And I've listed the insoluble fiber sources, and like I said before, those are mainly for keeping your GI tract somewhat clean. And then we have our soluble fiber, which is heart healthy. And that includes oatmeal, barley, rice bran, beans. Beans are a great source as well. Um, all, your, all your fruits and vegetables are great sources. Actually, I just read a blurb in the American Journal of Nutrition that states that if you add one serving of fruits and vegetables to your diet a day,